dear friends hope you are safe jesus in the gospel according to saint matthew chapter 4 verse 4 says man does not live on bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of god indeed word of god offers us hope when we are in despair courage when we are scared life when we experience death Therefore if we open our hearts to the word of God it can bring us healing and abundance of life In this video we will hear Father Sebastian Tobias who is a well known writer and preacher he will speak to us on the power of the word of God and after that you will see some individual sharing how their favorite word of God has helped them to face the challenges created by this pandemic as you watch the video i invite you to find your favorite word of god that can give you hope courage and new life josh chapter 1 words 9 As a registered nurse, I had my worries and anxieties, especially the days I get pulled to the COVID unit. So this particular day, it was my turn to get pulled to the COVID unit. As I was driving to work, I saw this truck pulled right next to me with God's words written. I hereby command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Psalm 23 verse 4 it says Even when I walk through dark valley I fear no harm for you are at my side Your rod and staff give me courage One of my most favorite comforting words is Be still and know that I am God I am exalted among the nations exalted on the earth Psalm chapter 46 verse 10 This verse has reminded me over the years and now to acknowledge God's power to seek his refuge to honor his time and to wait in patience during the uncertainties in my life John 14 Peace I give you my peace I give you says Jesus and as his follower i receive the peace that Jesus gives the gospel passage i find the most helpful is from john 14 let not your hearts be troubled neither let them be afraid jesus is telling us that as his followers we should not be afraid but remain in him even in the midst of all problems The word of God that inspires me and strengthens me is Romans 8:28. God takes all things and makes it good for those who love God. This has immensely helped me in learning to trust God in all things, even when things go bad, because nothing happens to you outside of God's knowledge. Therefore, nothing happens to me that is unknown to God. Jesus was on the way to Jairus house to heal his daughter. There appeared a woman who was suffering from hemorrhage for 12 years. She touched at the fringe of his garment and was cured. I wonder what is fringe of his garment? Jewish rabbis of Jesus time and even before Jesus time they had a favorite word of god in their life they used to write this favorite word of god in a small scroll and pack it in a small tunic and attach this small tunic in their garment jesus being a jewish rabbi had his favorite word of god and he had it attached 
to his garment. So when we read, she touched at the fringe of his garment, we should understand that she touched at the favorite word of God of Jesus. So what is this favorite word of God of Jesus? It is Hezad Yahweh. Mercy of Yahweh. Jesus is mercy incarnate. And we read from the Gospels that power has gone forth from him. Word of God is power. It can heal us. It can touch us. It can empower us. Remembering those times when the word of God has touched us, healed us and empowered us is like allowing the word of God to touch us again, empower us again, heal us again and again. So let's remember those word of God and remember that we should have a favorite word of God in our life.